friends in this video i will discuss about bioreactor and its application this is mohammad asif let's get start first we understand what is bioreactor bioreactor is a vessel in which biochemical process is carried out which involves microorganism or biochemical substances which is dry from any uh, microorganism which is useful for industrial level okay and uh, the basically bioreactor is a two types first is aerobic bioreactor and second is anaerobic bioreactor when we talk about the aerobic bioreactor as a name suggest we need a adequate mixing and mixing and aeration we need the oxygen to grow uh, the uh, particular aerobic bacteria and when we talk about the anaerobic bioreactor anaerobic bacteria there is no need to of uh, no need for sparging or agitations no need to uh, oxygen to grow okay you can see this picture in which picture has the some uh, is it is bioreactor and there is a motor form back breakers and flat bladed impeller culture broths this is the culture bed inside the reactors sterile air acid bath ph controls steam and sterilization what is the function function of the bioreactor is to provide a suitable environment in which the organism can sufficiently and efficiently produce a target product that uh, the target product might be the cell biomass and metabolites and transform product okay and uh, the performance of any bi any bioreactor depends on the following key factors like agitation rate and oxygen transfer and temperature and form production and also ph uh, dependent and bioreactor bio should have the following qualities they must have the capable of being operated as septically for the number of days adequate aeration agitations meet requirement of microorganism and power consumption should be low as possible temperature control and ph should be provided on the times sampling facilities should be provided evaporation losses from fermenter should not be excessive okay minimum use of labor and in operation harvest cleaning and maintenance should have the internal smooth surf surface contaminated involves prevention of escapes of viable cells from the fermenter or downstream equipment except aseptic operations involve the protection against contaminations when we talk about the design design of a bioreactor how to what uh, component would be should be involved in the bioreactor this uh, when we talk about the design design the, uh, there are three uh, category we can uh, i can categorize first is vessels second is aerations and agitations and control control uh, control and monitoring probes when we talk about the vessels vessels material of construction which material is, uh, is making we are using to make to make the to design the bioreactors and aeration aeration is like impellers buffers aeration system and spargers and when we talk about the control and monitoring and monitoring and props uh, this is the temperature props dissolved oxygen props ph props pressure props and form props okay and uh, this is the vessels in in the fermentation with the stick aseptical requirement it is the important to select material that can be withstand repeated steam sterilization cycle two basic types of fermenter are used on the small scale is it, it, it is possible to use glass and stainless steels glass is, glass vessels with round or flatted bottoms or tops flanged carrying pla uh, carrying plates the large uh, large glass container is originally used for barosilicate battery jars they are sterilized by autoclaving okay glass is useful because it is gives small surface in non toxic corrosion proof it is the easy to examine interior of the vessels and and a glass steel tops and bottoms flat vessels with two stainless steel plates are also used more expensive sterilized in the c2 pilot scales industrial scales and stainless steel and aseptic seal made uh, it is made between the glass and uh, glass and glass 
glass and metals and uh, or metals and metals joined between the bioreactor vessels and deta detachable tops or base plate you can see this picture this is the barosilicate glass and stainless steel fermenter you can see this is a rock drum in which have the all these uh, like anti forms motors acid base pressure gas filter waste uh, waste gas cold water outlet ph props temperature props sparger and compressed air steam harvest pipe cold water inlet impeller oxygen concentration props and cooling jacket is trial nutrient media temperature control temperature control is adequate provision for temperature control affect design of vessels body and heat is produced by micro microbial activity or mechanical agitation heat might be pro producing either any impeller mechanical force okay this heat is not ideal for particular manufacturing process then it it may it may it may be added to, to or removed from the system provision of heat by replacing the fermenter in thermostatically controlled bath or by use of internal heating coils or by silicon heating jacket through the which water is circulated silicon jacket is consist of the double silicon double mats and wrapped around the recess with heating wires between two aerations aeration bit aerations provide microorganisms submerge culture with sufficient oxygen for metabolic requirement aeration is necessary for uh, for uh, initiate to process of uh, metabolic uh, metabolic uh, activity agitation agitation is a mixing or uniform suspension of microorganism or cells in homogeneous nutrient medium mechanical agitation is required for fungal and actinomycetes and fermentation not even the this uh, specific fungal or uh, even me uh, mechanical agitation is used in the mammalian cells also structural components involve aerations and agitation agitator uh, it is impeller and baffles and aeration system impeller is uh, impeller is the mix uh, achieve is, it is target to mixing the uh, medium media and bulk fluid and gas uh, gas phase mixing air dispersion oxygen transfer heat transfer suspension of solid particles and maintaining uniform environment throughout vessels content this is the impeller you can see picture you can see this picture this is the picture and uh, this is the bioreactor and inside the bioreactor one person is standing there baffles baffle is incorporated into the agitated vessels of all sizes to prevent the vortex to improve aeration efficiency baffles is basically used for prevent prevent of vortex and metal stripes roughly 1/10 of the vessel diameter and attached radially to the wall usually four baffles are used but larger bioreactors may be six or eight baffles minimize microbial growth on bioreactor walls we should be always minimize the microbial growth or cell growth on the bioreactor walls extra cooling may, may be attached to the baffles to improve cooling this is the this is the bioreactor in which have the buffer picture is showing inside the bioreactor you can see the cooling coils and foam breakers and air cool, coolant in and baffle okay baffles in fermenter you can see this picture buffle is basically prevent the vortex form inside the bioreactor aeration system aeration system is also called sparger sparger is defined as the device for introducing air into the liquid of fermenter or bioreactor three basic types porous sparger orifice sparger a perf perforated pipe a nozzle sparger and open and partially closed pipe combined sparger and agitator may be used in laboratory fermenter you can see this picture this is the sparger which is uh, which is 
put it, uh, on the bottom side of the bioreactors feeding pods feeding pods addition of inoculum nutrient or other supplements assembling pod to test addition of acid and alkali silicon tubes pumped by peristaltic pump or after aseptic connections all these connection which is under the aseptical environment and in large bioreactor nutrition reservoir and associated piping integral part can be sterilized with vessels foam control foam control is produced during the most microbial fermentations foaming may be occur either due to the medium components that is proteins present in the mediums due to the some compo uh, com com some compound produced by micro microorganism or cells proteins uh, are present in the corn stream liquor pharma media peanuts meal soybeans and uh, ch2 cells minimize foam how to minimize excessive foam danger that filter become wet uh, wet uh, resulting in the contaminations we can minimize the forms by the help of uh, anti form c solutions and uh, different types of uh, anti form is using to in at industrial levels we can use to minimize in the reactors applications of bioreactor at industrial levels uh, bioreactor may be also refers to the device or system means to grow cells and tissue in the context of the cell culture these devices are be, uh, being developed for the use in tissue cul tissue engineering uh, development uh, bioreactor is modular in the nature and carried out all process of fermentations on uh, or fermentation and bio process in a single content environment bioreactor plays a core role in the pro bio process sterilized bioreactor are commonly used in fermentation industry due to simple technology and higher yield solid state bioreactors are widely used in industry ethanol fermentation is done by saccharomyces cerevisiae in the bioreactor organic acid or acetic acid butyric acid are formed in the bioreactor by the eubacterium leucostomes and monoclonal antibody it is uh, producing by uh, cho cells and uh, cho cell lines specific uh, by the help of specific gene, gene cloning Uh, glucomycelia is produced by aerobacidium polyums in if you like this video hit, if you like this video please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon if you have any question please ask me the any questions in the comment box